Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Kira here with Victory Urban Stead. And this morning, it is time for me to officially rip out the rest of the summer garden and really get my fall plants in the ground so they can get grown. And we only have about 40 to maybe 50 days left before our first frost it is crunch time. So I gotta get things growing and harvesting before Mother Nature comes and wipes everything out. So let's not waste any more time and get this video started. channel this is our pepper patch and our pepper patch has not been doing well for the last like month like I should have whipped these out sooner um, but yeah goals procrastination you know all that I'm basically just gonna cut all the strings and rip everything out as much as I can and then yeah tackle the next phase the only things that have been producing in this last month are the jalapenos so this is probably all the little fruits left that I'm going to collect here. And because these plants do not look the healthiest, we're going to be discarding them as yard waste just so we're not contaminating our compost with any, you know, harmful bacteria that will, well, bacteria and fungi that will you know put our new plants at jeopardy for next year wow this one actually has a lot of jalapenos on it we have jalapeno plants in another part of the garden that are a lot more healthier and still producing so we'll still have jalapenos for a couple more months or weeks I should say but yeah, all of our bell pepper plants, I, I never have any luck with bell pepper. All my other peppers though, jalapeno, habanero, cayenne pepper even, they literally produce so much. Like I just, so peppers do well in this area, but I just haven't found the right bell pepper variety. Hey, I got a confession. And no momentum Just because it's easy That don't make it better, better, better. I wanna take my hands deep down in the dirt Take a walk along the street Alrighty, so This area is pretty much clean I'll go back and do some weeding um, Once the bulk of everything is done yeah, so now I'm going to move on to the tomatillos and there's actually a bunch laying on the ground. I mentioned that in the garden tour two days ago. Um, yeah, so these like are so hard to predict when they're ripe. They don't really bust through the lanterns or anything like that. So um, yeah, I'm just going to harvest what I can. I mean, they, there's tons on here. It's just, um, I don't know. I'm kind of over the tomatillos, just want to make the rest of the salsa verde that I can and yeah, just keep cleaning up. Take a walk along the street if I'm feeling dessert. All of this convenience just doesn't work for me. I want to play with fire. Let me get hurt. Can we take it back to 95? Before we have this drama. So here I have a tomatillo 
and there's several like this on the ground where the husk has pretty much been deteriorated but it's still for the most part perfectly fine inside so this husk is definitely like some sort of defense mechanism to keep the fruit ripen longer walk right up to your locker and risk you say boy just don't bother i know this all just makes me sound ancient but sons and daughters that shit was amazing all right so i'm done picking tomatillos in the middle of an allergy attack so i look horrendous right now Try not to die. But yeah, I'm literally, <laughs> I was at the brinking point. I called Jeremiah over to help me. And I'm like, I can't pick up another tomatillo. <laughs> like, I'm done. But yeah, anyway. Ugh. Here is the final basket of tomatillos that is soon to be salsa verde. Um, yeah, so the space looks pretty clear and empty. Um, now I'm just debating whether I want to rip down the wall of tomatoes right now. So that is going to be probably, I'm probably going to break these videos up into like a part two and part three. Um, keep the pepper patch one video, keep the tomatillos one video, just so people don't get too bored with like a 40, 50 minute long video. So yeah, this is it for the tomatillos. Um, if you're interested, catch you in the next episode. It'll be starting right now. Don't go anywhere. So stay tuned. See ya. Like and subscribe. That shit was amazing. Can we take it back to 95? Before we had this drama in our lives. Just staring at the screen every day and night. I miss the rush of living in real life. Go with your hello here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Kira here from Victory Urban Stead and I'm here in the main garden and today is the day that I'm going to be finally sneezing. Ooh, no, didn't happen.